Benjamin Graham's The Intelligent Investor, the definitive book on value investing is one of the most important books on value investing. It came out for the first time in 1949 and has been updated several times since then. The most recent one has commentary by financial writer Jason Zweig. Graham's book is a complete guide for both new and experienced investors. It focuses on long-term value investing ideas to make consistent money in the stock market. The book is split into 20 chapters that cover a wide range of value investing themes. Here, we'll give a brief summary of the main ideas and use examples from the book to show how Graham's ideas work. Investment versus Speculation, Graham differentiates between investment and speculation. Investment is an activity that promises safety of principle and an adequate return, while speculation involves higher risk with a potential for higher returns. He emphasizes the importance of recognizing one's position as an investor or a speculator. The Investor in Inflation, Graham discusses the challenges investors face due to inflation and suggests investing in stocks and real estate to maintain purchasing power. He also recommends diversifying investments in bonds and stocks to protect against inflation. A Century of Stock Market History, Graham analyzes the historical performance of stocks, highlighting the importance of dividends in long-term investing. He emphasizes that investors should not be swayed by short-term market fluctuations, but should focus on the long-term potential of their investments. General Portfolio Policy Graham introduces the concept of defensive and enterprising investors. Defensive investors aim for safety and steady returns, while enterprising investors actively manage their portfolios to achieve higher returns. He suggests that defensive investors allocate 25 to 75 percent of their portfolio to bonds and the rest to stocks, while enterprising investors can have a more aggressive stock allocation. The defensive investor in common stocks, Graham recommends that defensive investors invest in high-quality, large-cap stocks with a long history of dividend payments. He introduces the concept of margin of safety, which requires investors to purchase stocks at a significant discount to their intrinsic value. Example, Graham suggests investing in large, well-established companies with a consistent history of dividend payments, such as Coca-Cola or Johnson & Johnson. The defensive investor in bonds, Graham advises defensive investors to focus on high-quality bonds with a good credit rating. He explains the importance of bond laddering and diversifying bond holdings to minimize interest rate risk. The enterprising investor in common stocks, enterprising investors are encouraged to analyze individual companies' financial statements and invest in undervalued stocks with strong fundamentals. They can also consider investing in special situations like spin-offs, mergers, and acquisitions. Example, Graham cites the example of General Electric, which spun off its consumer finance division as Synchrony Financial. An enterprising investor could have profited from this spin-off by analyzing the potential value of the new company. The investor in market fluctuations, Graham emphasizes that investors should not be influenced by market fluctuations, but should focus on the intrinsic value of a company. He suggests using a dollar-cost averaging strategy, investing a fixed amount at regular intervals regardless of market conditions. Investing in investment funds, Graham discusses the benefits and drawbacks of investing in mutual funds and index funds. He recommends that defensive investors consider low-cost, diversified index funds as an alternative to individual stock selection. The investor and his advisors, Graham highlights the importance of seeking professional advice for investment decisions, especially for those who lack the time or expertise to manage their own portfolios. He advises investors to evaluate the performance and fees of their financial advisors. Various chapters on security analysis, valuation techniques, and advanced strategies, and the remaining chapters, Graham delves deeper into various aspects of value investing, providing a comprehensive guide for both defensive and enterprising investors. Security Analysis for the Lay Investor Graham introduces the process of security analysis, emphasizing the importance of evaluating a company's financial statements, competitive position, and management quality. Things to consider about per-share earnings, 
Graham cautions against relying solely on per share earnings as an indicator of a company's value. He suggests considering factors such as earnings stability, dividend payout, and earnings growth. A comparison of four listed companies, Graham demonstrates the process of security analysis by comparing four real-life companies. He evaluates their financial performance and intrinsic value, highlighting the importance of thorough research and investment decisions. Example, Graham compares the financials of four companies NP, Chrysler, Westinghouse, and General Motors to demonstrate how an investor should analyze the quality and potential of each company. Stock selection for the defensive investor, Graham provides a checklist of criteria for selecting high-quality stocks, including a strong financial position, consistent earnings growth, and a history of dividend payments. Stock selection for the enterprising investor, for enterprising investors, Graham discusses various strategies to identify undervalued stocks, including low price-to-earnings ratios, low price-to-book ratios, and a strong dividend yield. Convertible issues and warrants, Graham explains the intricacies of investing in convertible securities and warrants, which can offer potential for higher returns but also carry additional risks. For extremely instructive case histories, Graham analyzes four case studies involving American Express, Magma Copper, National Presto, and Texas Gulf Sulphur to illustrate the importance of thorough security analysis and the margin of safety principle. A comparison of eight pairs of companies, Graham compares eight pairs of similar companies to highlight the importance of evaluating financial ratios, growth rates, and management quality when making investment decisions. Shareholders and Managements, Dividend Policy, Graham discusses the importance of a company's dividend policy, arguing that a consistent and sustainable dividend payout is a key factor in evaluating a company's financial health. Margin of safety as the central concept of investment, Graham reiterates the importance of the margin of safety principle, which requires investors to purchase securities at a significant discount to their intrinsic value, thus minimizing potential losses. In conclusion, Benjamin Graham's The Intelligent Investor, the definitive book on value investing is a complete guide for investors who want to make money in the stock market over the long run. Graham gives investors the tools they need to make smart choices, reduce risks, and consistently reach their investment goals by focusing on the principles of value investing and the margin of safety.